Welcome to Mr. Sir Sports. We recently hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank all you guys for that. If you want to join the family and be entered to win a MacBook Pro and experience all the NFL news that's important that you need to know, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified when our videos go live. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away a MacBook Pro, like I mentioned. So don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you guys again and enjoy the video. Arguably the best defensive player in the NFL, Nick Bosa, is not attending training camp currently with the 49ers because he's waiting for his humongous, probably biggest of all time contract that he's going to sign before the NFL season starts. Um, in 51 games, Bosa has 43 career sacks and eight forced fumbles, which is unbelievable. So do you think he ends up getting the contract done before the season and coming back somewhat quickly before training camp ends yeah he's gonna come back i mean i think it's only a matter of time before he ends up signing and i'll tell you what he's worth every penny and part of the key also here is that they have two guys lance and purdy that are both on rookie deals so they don't have to pay a quarterback a lot of money obviously sam Darnold's a very inexpensive signing too so quarterback is not taking up any cap space whatsoever yeah they're paying mccaffrey a little bit obviously they did also sign Javon Hargrave to a good deal, but I think obviously that Nick Bosa is worth every single penny that you have. He's been dominant since he came into the league in 2019, especially th thinking that he was really good his rookie year that they ended up going to the Super Bowl. So I think Nick Bosa is a player that comes along every few years. He's been really good. I think you could still argue that Aaron Donald's still at the top of the league. You can argue there are many guys, even like Miles Garrett, guys that are very good pass rushers about like that are equal to him but for my money if I had to take any of the pass rushers I would take Bosa not just saying that because he plays on my favorite team but I think he's a game wrecker personally so with all those things being considered do you think that Nick Bosa will end up getting the bag yeah definitely I do think he will end up getting paid I think it's only a matter of time like you said and when you have the comparison between him and Aaron Donald, I think really what it comes down to is they're both elite players. They play two different positions. Nick Bosa comes off the edge, and uh, Aaron Donald is mostly a defensive tackle in the middle. So they're two different players, two different positions, but they're both dominant, and Nick Bosa will get paid just like Aaron Donald has.